Hey guys, my name is Dave and welcome to another video. So one thing has been kind of constantly going through my head multiple times and that is of that... I... I feel like in a way I've been kind of... betraying myself and in turn those around me a lot. This may or may not make sense. I don't know. You have to actually know me and know what, like, the things that go on in my personal life a lot, which I'm not going to get too much into detail about. But. I'm not a perfect person. I mean, you ask Pink Fox and she's going to say otherwise, but I'm not. I've made mistakes and I've made specific irrational actions in my life. I guess the thing that really bothers me and has been bothering me the most is that, and I know I've talked about this at least one other time, maybe a couple times before on this channel, is the fact that my mind gets pestered with this kind of stuff a lot. I was actually playing, I, Aaron, as of this recording, Aaron was going to come over and hang out, and I am actually going to talk to him about this, get his opinion off it. By the time this is uploaded publicly, it would have already been discussed, but and I've already talked to Pink Fox about it, see what she had to say about the matter, um, but... I have made enough mistakes in my life executively enough to where my mind if you run if you rewind back far enough I would mentally beat myself up over it and it would be pretty constant where I would do this that stopped maybe a year and a half to two years prior to the recording of this video. So it's about the same with the upload, the original upload date of this video. However, by that point in time, I had done this enough to where without intention, my brain would just start s slamming me. It would start hammering me with all these events from my past mistakes that I've made causing me to feel down about it, causing me to regret my life choices because of it. This is a little bit of an over-exaggeration on the specific wording I'm using, but the more literality of is it, my subconscious had kind of, at the point where I consciously had stopped beating myself up over stuff like this, my subconscious had taken over and it kind of does it for me which is kind of my fault in the long haul because of how long I had been doing this to myself. But at the same time, I guess in a way to me, it's kind of a reminder of I am not perfect. I make several mistakes. I've made several mistakes over the course of my life. Recent, very recently, I've had very understanding individuals as part of my life, including Aaron, including Pink Fox, including my parents, um, and even my siblings, people like that. Um, D9 being another one of them, him, him being one of the first, unincluding my uh, genetic family. D9 being one of the first uh, to actually approach me and and try, like, it, it come to terms and understand to try to help me even out my mindset on the front. But even with all this, I've coped a little bit better than if you were to rewind about a year, maybe a year and a few months prior to this date. Somebody just walked in the apartment. Hmm. But prior to about a year and a few months, cumulatively, of the this recording and the date of the upload even, possibly. Uh, 
actually, by the time the day of the upload, it would have been exactly a year. I guess you could say over the course of the past year, I've gotten better at coping with it, but I still have a hard time coping with the subconscious... 100% with the subconscious side of me that decides to beat me up over my past mistakes. And there are several of them. Um, a lot of them do actually have to do with argue arguments originally caused by statements that I bring up. Also caused by the fact that I am extremely bad at in-person communication at times. Is this all the time? No. But it can happen quite a bit. And unfortunately, I personally don't know how to... I, I, I'm, I'm still not exactly 100% sure how to fix this. I, I'm getting better at it, but... And, and those who I do converse with, at least at this point, know the extents of how bad I am at conversing and how little I actually do it in person. Maybe I, I do it daily in the sense of what you guys are watching now, but because I don't do it in person with a lot of people, I do struggle with actually coming up with certain things to say. And a lot of the time, when an argument happens, and I'm not sure what to do, I would go dead silent. Some people would expect a response. I wouldn't know what to say, so I'd stay silent. By this point, usually I've already said more that I should regret. <laughs> Which, excuse me. By this point, In time, as far as like that kind of conversation goes, it'd be a bit too late for me to, like me, me to be silent. But at the time, I would have so little, as I said, so little say that if I were to say something, my brain would tell me that it's just about it. It would be worse to say something than to shut up. Now, doesn't particularly make it true or anything, but. Because of these patterns, like the one I just presented, the scenario I just presented, which has happened in my life a lot, I've gotten to the point where my subconscious, I, I have actually legitimately, legitimately said this to multiple individuals, I have basically said that my subconscious hates me. In the sense where... Say I'm having a great day, hanging out with Amber or Aaron, the night before or the day of, because with us, you never know. Um, and I stop after a certain point in time. I'll approach the situation, and I'll, I'll be on my own. I'll probably clean up a little bit after the matter, which I'm actually getting better at, which I'm proud of myself over, but that's a video for another day. Um, but while doing this, while just kind of, you know, nothing's going through my head, I'm just focused on cleaning or doing some kind of, sometimes it'll be while I'm doing like some grinding for the YouTube videos that I do, the gaming ones later on, suddenly out of the blue, even though nothing's going through my head, bam, I'm all of a sudden hit with the mindset of you did wrong at this point in time. Like for absolutely no reason to. When these kind of things happen, this is where my brain starts to go, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? And I start freaking out mentally. Actually, this here, it's hard to see, but this little incision on the door, which I am going to fix personally, it's not, it's actually not that bad. It's easily fixed. I've done it before. Um, there's some instruction, but I have. That was the outcome of me kind of, you know, freaking out like that in a scenario, kind of like what I'm explaining. I'm not going to go into detail about that. When I go into panic, for the most part, I usually take one of my pillows and I mean, well, let's just put it this way. 
I'm not supposed to be able to do that. Most of the time, the pill is the thing, but I was like pacing back and forth and I was next to the door. Out of a flash, the first thing I could reach was that. It was actually the, my forehead that hit it. It's nothing that can't be undone. In fact, as I said, I do plan on fixing that at some point whenever I can. Um, and it'll be taken care of. But that kind of thing, it actually, that, when I did that, it scared Pink Fox. Which, that's kind of where the mistake I'm talking about now. That's why I gave that example. Whenever, one, one of the most recent scenarios of my mindset is that of that. I, my subconscious would blame me for that, and technically it's not wrong, but it would do it in a way where it'd be beating me up mentally. Does it do any th kind of negative impact? I mean, just wait till a later video and you'll find out for yourself. Watch yesterday's video, I mean, come on. Whenever that kind of thing happens, I have a tendency to take a hiatus from stuff like this, but it did not have a drastic negative impact on me. I was fine. Given a little bit of time, but I was fine. And just progressing. But I think that gives off a good example of kind of what I mean. Um, my mind has a tendency to beat me up over little stuff like this, but makes it a much bigger deal. And... Yes, to me, that is little. That is very little to me. Or at least it should be. But again, it's my brain. My brain can't tell the difference from little and not when it's my subconscious specifically. My subconscious has never liked me. I could give several more examples that have nothing to do with current circumstances. Um... Like, for example, I have made much larger mistakes in the past that I've actually talked about with as many people as necessary, and it's kind of a thing in the past now, and randomly, scatteredly, it would be brought up. It was something I did when I was, like, 12 years old. A mistake I made that, fr that upset my mom to the point of tears. That's all I'm going to say. My parents, I'd be surprised if they remembered that at all. Then there's me. The only reason I remember it is because scatteredly throughout my life since, my brain has, my subconscious has always seemed to love to beat me up over it. If you look back at it now, it's extremely minor. But I guess it's just the impact that happens on me after looking back, seeing how many times that happened in the past. Now, as I said, few, like, about five minutes ago, I'm much better at coping with this kind of thing now. It doesn't bother me as much anymore. Usually only when it's, like, in the moment and it's a more recent thing. But I'm not the best with coping with what my subconscious does to me. I never have been. This is a flaw that I think I've had for a very, very long time. And this flaw actually does reflect how I react to in the moment things as well. A good example of how it reflects would actually be, well, let's use this. There was a, there have been financial conversations I've had with my dad, who is an accountant, and my fiance, who is, if I'm to be honest, much better with money than I am. Um, I'm getting better at it, but still, that doesn't change the fact. I have had arguments with both. Just because of either miscommunication, in the case of me and my fiancé, which those didn't last very long, and that was like at the start, like way back. That's not even recent. That's like when we started talking, like individual separate ideas and that kind of thing, I guess you could say, back... It was a while ago. Anyway, 
the more notable one anyway, because that was, that, that's, that's, let's put it this way, that was more of a disagreement. If we're going actual argument argument, let's just say there's a reason. I, like, my, me and my parents have always seen in different directions when it comes to finances, maybe except for a small fraction of a time, and recently. But that the two the amount of time that those two s sections sandwich just a giant downward spiral. Let's put it that way. And all of it cores on the fact that I don't know what the heck I'm talking about when it comes to that kind of stuff. Or I didn't. I know a bit better now. I know myself now more to know when to say, okay, give my opinion here. Or when to say, you know what, it's up to you. If I didn't say anything, it's only going to make lead to bad. And so far, I've been right. But the reason I say this is because of all of those times within that sandwiched point. My subconscious goes back to those moments all the time and says, you did wrong in all of these points and times. And it's like, in a sense, it's kind of like how depression treats someone. It's like a nagging feeling that won't leave you alone. Now, this isn't the case for everyone who has depression, but for some it is. I've just known enough people who have suffered from that to know, including myself. In any case, yeah, I, I, I guess it, in short, because I'm going to go on a loop if I say anything, give any more examples, because it basically has already. In short, my subconscious hates me and likes to punish me. My subconscious loves to punish me, apparently. Even if it's stuff that I should be over. I don't know. I guess this is just something I kind of needed to get off my chest. I'm going to be talking about it later on with, um, as I said earlier, Amber and Aaron. Actually, Amber has already talked to me about this, and, well, she's very loving about it. Um, and Aaron. I guess Aaron's more just to ask for a little bit of advice. And I've actually told Amber this, too. I mean, even this, like this, once I point this out to him, he's, I don't even know what his response is going to be. That was very recent. And once again, as I said, that was a response to me not knowing how to react to something and being very irrational. But we'll see where things go. This, this particular video has probably already been jumbled up as it is. But I probably should get going. So I'm going to head off. Thanks everyone who stuck around for this entire video. If you liked it, make sure to push that like button and so far you can't sit anymore. If you're intrigued in this kind of stuff and you want to learn more about me, why not either ask me what you'd like to know in the description below. What? No. In the comments below. I haven't made that mistake in a while. Or why not check out the playlist about me itself. If you'd rather check out something else that you might enjoy on this channel, why not click the link on the other side of my head that YouTube might give you an idea of what you might like. Either way, though, as I said, I'm going to head off. Thanks again for watching this video, everyone, and I hope to see all of you in another. Bye for now.